<laughs> What's up, people? Hotep Jesus, we back with another John Core conversation. Um, welcome to the people in the chat. Ebony, of course, is keeping us on time, calling us out for being on CP time. <laughs> I see you, Ebony, in the chat. What'd you say, Jay? <laughs> we. <laughs> So we're back. I had I had to get my um No, you guys can't see me. I I would have to um I forgot that I had to turn my camera off in the other Zoom. Hold on, let me come in the Zoom on my phone and hopefully it doesn't mess up the screen. Hold on, let me see here so you guys can see me. I totally forgot you guys couldn't see me. Like I said, I'm totally out of it. Um Can you see me now? All right. All right. Let me hang this up here. Bang. Somebody said, congrats, Uncle Hotep on a baby. Fuck you, fudge me. <laughs> Wendy O's daughter, she calls me um, Uncle Hotep. She's like two or three or something like that. She's like, how about me house, Hotep? And she's like, good, you know. But she doesn't know there's an Uncle Hotep. So now I'm Uncle Hotep to her, too. It's just like, so one more person calls me Uncle Hotep, yo. <laughs> um, he said, you made college professor time. If he's 15 minutes late, we all left. I was always 15 minutes late for college. On purpose. I'd be outside the door purposely walking in late. Um, anyway, welcome everyone. If this is your first time, this is a Jean Core project, uh, how to start a blog. And um, great things have happened over the past week. Uh, to recap what has happened over the past few weeks. Um, let's see, uh, week one was getting the giveaway together. Week two, and three, I don't even remember what happened week two. Week three, I'm not even gonna tell you what happened week three, but we had a little reality TV show drama. So go back and watch last week's episode for the reality TV drama. I'm not even gonna recap that. I'm gonna make you guys go back and, and, and watch that on your own. Um, but basically what we're doing here is, what? Oh yeah. Yeah, aunt, aunt called me up on uh, Thanksgiving weekend, the night of the Tyson fight, to play tech support on the computer. It took me about five minutes. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that was week two. This week, we... um. We tweaked the site a bit. I think I'm probably going to do a screen share tonight for the first time so people can actually see the site. Oh, fuck. Really? All right. Let me. Um... All right. They can hear you now. My bad. Can you hear, I, you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear us now? We live? Good. Thank you, Brody, <laughs> for, for giving me the heads up on that. A little uh, spirit fingers for Brody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally out of it, man. I had a, a baby last week, gave birth to a, a, a baby girl. I haven't gotten much sleep. Sleep's been staggered. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, I haven't streamed since Hotep's been told you. So my bearings are off. So just bear with me, people. Please bear with me. Um, but you guys should be able to hear the guest now. I apologize, guys. Um... They pressed one in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> we got a two at first. I was like, wait, what, did it not work? <laughs> the, the one so pressed one in the chat. Yeah. So y'all probably do a screen share tonight at some point. But um, 
So who's gonna who's gonna play team captain tonight and uh, give us the update over the past week? What's happening? What's going on? So on and so forth. Anthony will. It's got to be Ann. I was gonna say it's got to be Ann. I volunteers tribute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, Ant. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we, my bad, Ant. No worries. So what's happening is uh, these four adult individuals, professionals, have decided <laughs> to work together to start a blog. And um, one of the things I always said about a blog is if you have a team, it's pretty much guaranteed to be successful. So these people have uh, gotten together to create a blog. Uh, it has morphed into something greater and better, but still is a blog. Um and uh, basically, I'm just playing Phil Jackson here and uh, running through the motions because I had a blog that was doing like millions of hits a month and I have a lot of experience in the Internet, so on and so forth. Been designing websites since like the uh, late 90s, mid late 90s. So a lot of experience with the Internet. As you know, I'm a startup founder, so I do a lot of business development. So that's my role here. But again, I'm going to pass it off to Sean Core team and run us through the playbook and, and what's happening here. All right. So basically, previous, uh, excuse me, last week, we got the site up. We kind of just reviewed everything and you gave us some adjustments that we needed to make. And by we, I mean I, because I'm the only <laughs> one. Who knows how to work a computer? That's what happens when you're working with a that's bunch not, of boomers. That's, that's true. We, we're changing that. We're changing that. We worked on that today. Come on now. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, throw a shot. <laughs> don't change. No, but he is. Look, I'm sick look, of it. I'm sick I, I of, give it to of it, Ant. man. I'm burnt out. I, I, I got to give it to Ant. Ant has been like, Ant just hoisted the whole thing on his back and just started just dragging it through. So, I, you know, I, I give nah, him a lot of credit we, for that. But I'm, three, I'm three, trying to help take a little bit of that weight off it? his shoulders. What is it? Three boomers and a Gen Z? Nah, I'm a, I'm a millennial. Wait, wait. I'm a no, millennial. we're all millennials. Well, no, Reed is not a millennial. Reed's not a millennial. I'm not a millennial. X. Well, when it comes to computers. I don't know. I'm, when it comes I'm to computers. computers. No, well, see, I'm, I'm smart enough to make no. everybody think that I don't know how to do computers, so I don't have to do this shit. When I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's a boom I still hadn't figured, had figured that stuff out. I still got people telling me, like, make these charts for me. I'm like, what, the, what do I look like? Good <laughs> God, man. No, nah, Chad, Chad hit me up today and he helped me out a little bit with some things, but um, we basically just fine tuned the site now that it was up and running. So two weeks ago, you know, when I hit you up, um, basically the site wasn't in the internet yet. Like it was, we owned the, the site, the site name, but it wasn't out there for people to access. So that was two weeks ago. We did that last week. We got it up and we had some basic, you know, copywriting um to celebrate the launch of our brand we're doing a giveaway right we're giving away a 50 dollar visa gift card so i had to set up that with uh you know the raffle copter widget but the site was still kind of looking pretty bland and pretty ugly so this previous weekend you know we discussed in the mogul summit with uh, the rest of our peers what we wanted to do for tonight um so when everybody sees the site so basically you know we went over uh, some simple design just to make it a little bit more pretty um, for lack of better words and then just figure out the copywriting you know just going over the basic stuff that you need to accomplish when doing a giveaway so that's where we're at right now the, the site is pretty to be honest with you I know I know Hotep's going to show the screen but you know I felt very very uh, centered when I saw the color that you picked it was a beautiful color was it mauve or Violet. <laughs> no, mom is way pinker than that, man. Look, I don't know. Listen, man, I'm not a doucher. I don't know colors, but I know that it looks pretty. <laughs> I, look, the only reason I know You're that one is I went to, every I went to color a wedding that exists. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> listen, I'm being festive. Being festive. I got a lifestyle to maintain here. You know? That's right. <laughs> I, only, I only know mauve I because I was, I was in a wedding one time and the, and the, the women wore mauve and like we wore, I mean, we just wore black tuxes, but anyway. It's, uh, I, was about, I thought you had on like a pimp. Otherwise, I would not know the color mauve. I would have never even heard of it, I don't think. So, but to, from the just a, a little management thing, we did set up kind of a social media crew and split it up because, as we know, Ant is pretty much the pilot of the blog. And the co pilot is going to be Chad helping out where needed. But Chad set up um, a YouTube channel for John Corp. Um, Jonesy's had a, so he'll be heading that. YouTube, and then um, Jonesy's going to be the Instagram social media guy, 
I'm going to do the Pinterest. And then we've got Twitter that we're going to kind of load in once we get the blog up. Um, we'll load in some timed things, but all of us are going to be participating in the Jean Core Twitter. Dope. Dope. Marvelous. Yeah. So, so we kind of, we arranged that last week, kind of saying what are, so like I said, we all take, taking, taking, have taken over these accounts. Pinterest is new to me, but uh, I so I why. think. Yeah, that's, that's Ma <laughs> Heaven. That's Ma Heaven. That's Ma Heaven. Oh. How would you not have been on Pinterest, Rita? She, well, she's a Raiders fan, so like, I mean, it's like oh. you know, it's like a different, it's a different level of Ma. All, you know, no, I, I know, I, yeah. Well, we're, that's we're true, but there's, there's, there's a lot of, there's, yes, I can totally see why Ma's. And for the audience who doesn't know what a Ma is, middle-aged white woman, but yes, <laughs> tons of stuff. But I also see, I can see where it's very popular. But I can also see where we really could, where we could definitely have a market with the site. So for, for people that don't know, one of the best ways to drive traffic to a web property destination is Pinterest. Drive tons of traffic. Pinterest is uh, sort of like a search engine. Uh, so you'll get, mm -hmm. you'll get uh, not only do you get a ton of traffic, you'll get SEO benefits. You'll be able to rank on Google. Uh, Pinterest, you know, having a high domain authority. You guys haven't gotten familiar with SEO. There's something called domain authority and page authority. And obviously, Pinterest has a super high domain authority, uh, as well as the other social networks. So you uh, have the opportunity to rank and, and be discovered. So that's why uh, Pinterest is being discussed right now. And so the cool thing that I found so far, I haven't pinned anything because it's just been an exploration. Yeah. But but every single um, kind of, uh, you know, lane that we fill, tons of stuff on finance, of course, and debt, college, you can break it down in any way. Lots of um, culture stuff, lots of mental health, meditation, um, physical health. There's so many different places that we can pin and attach our name to. Uh, and then, of course, just we've talked about funnels or different. Uh, yes, you could pull a lot of moss with us. You might have to have uh, really sexy <laughs> pictures of all the bros to get, you know, on the pin because that seems to be, I was hitting, now this was all research like a uh, gentleman, <laughs> but all these beautiful men, you, you, that's all that, that, that's all that the pin is. And then it, I saw that Jonesy, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's all you and Oh, I, knew, I didn't that's see right. Jonesy. That's right. It was beefcake, man. I was, like, I was looking at the it. beefcake of the group. Tell your, tell, your, tell your girl we turn into a sex symbol. That's right. <laughs> you click I got, on it. I got to change click. my diet. <laughs> if we're going to do all of that. <laughs> but you click on this beautiful picture of this beautiful man, and then it's ladies' handbags and, you know, <laughs> or women's manicure. But they're oh, getting wow. that maw to open that link of so, that beautiful so man. That's called bait and switch. Yeah, right. No. right. They, they had you, beefcake yeah. and sourdough bread bowls with spinach dip. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it's like that. And then the other stuff, it, there's a lot of stuff about that I can see Ant's program being on, you know, his, his debt, uh, college debt. Just everything that we do, you can, you just do a search right on the top, people could find. Hmm. But we could, I, I could just see how we could have a lot of pins in a lot of areas. What's the uh, what's the what's the Twitter strategy? Well, I just finished reviewing your Twitter book. Okay, that's dominate right. Twitter, the By the the, the ultimate Jesus. guide to marketing and branding, uh, focused on Twitter. The link is in the description box below. It's forty seven dollars, so that the riffraff doesn't get my secrets to how we galvanize and pioneer on the internet uh, and so, beyond. So. Oh, wait, like Frida, hold on. About... I, I got to finish my, my plug. <laughs> nah, go ahead. No, no, no. Finish plug. Messing me. up the sales pitch for you. Yeah, yeah right? It's still, it's still down. It's still down from what it was. It was $197 uh, at one point, wasn't it? It was $197 at one point. I can't wait till it works for me so I could be one of the people in the infomercial. <laughs> like, I use Hotel Jesus' book and look what it got me. A whole bunch of followers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> In this binder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, but seriously, it is a good book. Like, yeah, it is. Excellent. 
and I kind of started the conversation selling the book. So right, right, right. For the record, I love so it. But the dominate Twitter book reviewing. So where we're at now is we don't have a blog that's up, and so my question really is for the group. Um, really, all we really have is to promote the the mm -hmm. contest to get you know people in who are interested and then the other part is us all walk th this would be a strategy is to watch for the latest things that are happening to add our comment yeah. right so that's yeah. that's the, a big strategy where we add a comment that would lead them to us right troll the trends right troll the yeah. trends and then troll and then also the like I, I was thinking too about mm -hmm. um so i did i did a video a while back i mean i posted it on my personal but i had the jeancourt.com um super you know the name the the, the link or well, not the link but anyway the, the the url listed on the on the video but just having something like that where each of us kind of takes a minute or two maybe 30 seconds to just give a little quick snippet and then have those things and then maybe have like a some some longer stuff for the youtube channel as well to be able to to promote do, through some video content um, as well, just once the, once the channel, once the Twitter account becomes more of a, more of a vehicle that way, but then use it. Yeah. Using the, the subtweet and, and trends to capture some of that, that trending topic following. I mean, um, <clears throat> uh, never mind. Let me not say that, but the stimulus bill went out today. So that was mm -hmm. an opportunity to say, Hey, you know, the government only gave you 600 bucks, but, uh, we can add 50 more on top of that. Mm. as an example yeah. of trolling these trends. Yeah, no, definitely. We, we're definitely slacking on our Mac and when it comes to uh, riding the trends, you know, because there's a lot of things that that we all have to say about this. And uh, we got to get more active with the site. The, the problem I, I see is, is that you got four different perspectives trying to run one account. Yeah. And, you know, as far as Twitter goes. So, um uh, we got to get a little more organized with our, with our, with our little thought bank, whoever's going to be the one to type it. I guess we can have a, a, a confluence of uh, all of our opinions. And, and, you know, one tweet comes from me. One tweet comes from Ant. one tweet comes from Chad. One tweet comes from Rita. And we, I guess we can do it like that. Well, you know what I mean, well, large corporations, what they do is when they have more than one person operating the same account, they usually put their initials at the end of tweets. So they know who mm -hmm. it came from. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna put at the end of mine, douchebag, DB, DB, <laughs> DB, baby. ODB, ODB. That's right, the old dirty douche. <laughs> but right now, so we're making comments, and that's just to build our Twitter follower following, correct? Mm -hmm. Because we really don't have a place to send them, except for so, the contest. So yeah, in, the addition, contest. in addition to that, with the uh, with the raffle copter giveaway, you know, we're gonna. This isn't going to be our only giveaway. We're going to do this, you know, in the future um, going forward. So basically how how you can enter is, you know, enter your email address. But if you do follow us on Twitter, that gives you an additional opportunity to, to be a winner. You know, so if somebody just enters their email, they only have one opportunity to win. Um, you know, but if you enter your email and follow us on Twitter, that gives you more than one. So better odds. And it's a better chance to win too, but that's another strategy we have for Twitter to, you know, increase followers. And so, Ant, do we know how many people have um, entered? I got sixteen showing up on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah, so whoa, 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 it's pretty embarrassing. Don't be telling people we got sixteen people who are interested in this thing. Whoa, easy. Huh? So that middle <laughs> that middle number on the landing page in the raffle copter widget will actually show the amount of entries that yeah. have been in it's so far. On the thing, so. Uh, so I have, I have a question. <laughs> I have been, so like part of, like, I would have maybe not exactly the way that you suggested, but I would have, I would have found a way to wedge th this into some of the, the, the trending stuff. But what I've been doing is kind of waiting to, till we get to this point to see where, what our next step is. And that, and like, I didn't know if we were officially like launching this thing. Cause we've been kind of in like this, we've been on the tarmac, we've been taxiing down the runway and I was waiting for us to officially completely launch this thing into the air before promoting it heavily. So we get the green light and I know this is crazy. I'm not like the anarchist and I'm like following the rules or, or waiting for rules so that I can follow them. Um, but if, if this, if we're green lighting this thing and we're like really going with it, then like I'll just start 
throwing it up there and start hammering away at that because that's you know why not why not get as many um entries into this as we can right now with with especially like with what brian was talking about with what's going if on if i may yeah if i may you know <clears throat> it's, it, you know it's no more you, you can't get a bigger launch than having hotep jesus <laughs> put us on a show every Monday night, bro. <laughs> this shit is not on the tarmac, bro. It's already <laughs> taken off. You know what I'm saying? I just so meant like, the, the raffle copter thing. Like we, we've been not, I'm, I'm the talking language about, of the rules and all this stuff. And I wanted to make sure, you know, we're not like taking off and like the engine, the mechanic is still kind of, you know, crank, everybody out bolts there, down, you know, everybody out there who's watching everybody who sees this tonight, we are going to put that thing on Twitter. Please everybody retweet it enter right support because this thing is taking off baby the john core project we are a social content sharing platform we are everything but not everything because that's <laughs> stupid because brian doesn't want you to say that <laughs> i'm glad you caught that i'm glad you caught that <laughs> we're not everything uh, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're the people who want who want to work for the finer things in life Right. Yeah. That's right. Meats yeah. and cheeses. Chad just sent me a plate with some of the finest. Was it prosciutto? I don't eat pork. So yeah, I don't know prosciutto, what that's yeah. Prosciutto, prosciutto and, 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 and a couple of cheeses I never tasted before, man. <laughs> so Chad is living high off the hog. That's just what we need to be in life, baby. That's Not a classic this Cabernet next to it, too. So don't forget that. But, but, yeah. but you know what? Like, to be honest, we, we, we definitely need to be more active with our social media presence mm-hmm. because, you know, we actually have to to give people a reason to pull into what we're trying to do you know what i mean like like this situation that went on today with that stimulus bill like brian was talking about like that's a perfect opportunity mm-hmm. for us to put our imprint on you know our opinions about it our four different mm-hmm. perspectives on it because yeah. that that yeah. stimulus bill was social it was culturally um yeah. relevant business it was relevant for business it has everything that that pretty much exactly. our blog entails mm-hmm. so you know we, we definitely got to jump on that plus could i just um i just want to throw this in i think the, another quick way, uh, the the labor is going to be writing a lot of these articles, but a quick way to just jumpstart it is start creating these the little eight to 10 minute vignettes like like you did, Chad, you know, the the one that you did. It's not that long, but oh, uh, yeah, vignettes I, of what's I, I would upcoming. Say for, right. Yeah. So for us, for us, like uh, just a minute or two to, to get that engagement where you where like it's like because like brian was talking about um this week earlier like 30 seconds maybe a minute or something like that 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 to get that um to 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 give it give it enough to where people want to listen to what you have to say but it's right. it's not so so long where it's like oh man i don't have 10 minutes um you know how that that can be sometimes <clears throat> But just but the, some of these things like like with Pinterest, a lot of uh, uh, the sites that are pinned or looked at or have a lot of hits are ones with these little seven to ten minute videos. Okay. You mm-hmm. know, people talking about what a challenge they're going through, what they're helping with, someone talking through um, debt reduction, uh, how to do you know a perfect exercise routine, and you know two twice a time, to- just all different types of things. That's what I'm thinking is that's really fast. It's faster than writing and editing our work. But at the same time, we're also trying to bring other people in to write. Mm-hmm. And that that's another thing, Brian, with content. So we pre- received five different emails just from last week alone from people saying, I'm happy to write for you. We also received somebody who does some um, tax preparing who offered that as a, a raffle prize. But, oh, wow. Get your taxes yeah, done. Yeah, to say, do your, mm-hmm. yeah, your 2020 taxes. So yeah, crazy thing is right around, it's right around, it's right around the corner. We're about to get first right of the, the year, corner. so it's time. Right. It's time. But yep. lots of people, and and then we're also getting followers who are entrepreneurs um, on John mm-hmm. Porter. So I'm tracking yeah. that, you know, tracking their profiles. Mm. People who aren't following anyone else who either found us here, but you know how you can see whether they follow one of us or even, you know, um, Hotep Jesus. They're not. So somehow they're finding us, mm. which is awesome. And so it could be through the raffle. Who knows? But a lot of but, times it could be people that are angry that Hotep blocked them, and they're trying <laughs> to find their way back in. <laughs> to us. Yeah, but look, look, I'll say this. So, so we're up to eighteen now because I just refreshed it. We're up to eighteen now. So we picked up three since we've been on here. And I know Yay. you said that it, that it was like it was embarrassing to mention that number, but no. Like I, I'll go back to what what Brian and I were talking about last night when he put out on Twitter last night. This is about like cultivating 
collaborators, not not followers. This is about collaborating to solve what's going on in the world that we live in. And I'd rather charge up a hill with 10 people, with 18 people who are willing to collaborate and who are willing to fight that fight and who are willing to find the solutions to what faces us than to drag a million people up a hill and, and, and then end up having them pull us slide, slide us back down. So like what, what we're trying to do here is, yeah, I is disagree. Green. I would rather have 2 million mindless <laughs> Instagram followers that pay us <laughs> to, 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 to drag 25 people who are like red pilled. Listen, all you, all you dumb Instagram followers, and all, all you booty models, oh, you want to pay for John Coeur, we're welcome. You're welcome. All you fa- only fan oh, strippers. No. Oh man, did the entries you, come just on. Did the entries just go down? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jonesy. Thanks, bro. He is the show We're at 11. money guy. We're at 11. <laughs> Listen, as long as you're paying, I'm with it, man. You can be a toothless crackhead in Dubuque, Iowa. As long as you pay John Core, we're with it. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, the pod, the pod father who stole the podcast That's with right. that French hat on. We'd love to make the world a better place, and we'd love you to pay us at the same time. <laughs> right, yeah, Jonesy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about making the world a better place. I saw Brian place. pumping his fist when I was talking. I didn't see any of that shit that you were talking about. Listen, man. Listen, I, I, I'm all about making the world a better place, but the world is a better place through capitalism, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so absolutely. we're making money. Who cares if it's a stripper named Pebbles with glitter <laughs> no! and baby oil on it? Who cares? Pebbles, don't, don't talk about Pebbles like that. I love Pebbles. <laughs> and if we're not we the have stripper to be, named right. Pebbles. I'm going to tell it, your wife about Pebbles. <laughs> Listen, male, my wife is just, listening right now. So so like, love <laughs> makes things happen. That's all I got to say. Just so we're equal, male strippers are welcome too. Just want to say. Oh, mm. my God. Oh, no. Beautiful, oiled up male strippers. Oh, Lord. Dude, stop. Okay. Uh, this is the part where we transition <laughs> into the next topic. Let's, God, I'm sorry. Let's give Ant the baton back. Jesus Christ. Let's give Ant the baton back. Can do? we talk about what we did to the site this week? Because uh, we, we got the all restructured and everything. Oh. Uh, I went in there and actually edited the some of the stuff with the rules and like updated and I didn't like I think I didn't. Mess All right, it before up. we get to that, let's put a link it, to our privacy policy in the rules. So. Let me let me let me reset the room real fast. Yeah, please. a couple of good things that happened here outside of Pebbles the Stripper. Um, we're launching JeanCord.com. Make sure y'all go to JeanCord.com. The link is in the description box below. Go sign up for the contest. I like that Jonesy said we're launching. Yeah, it's it's ready to go. Um, <laughs> the other thing that I liked was um, people are contacting you to contribute to this project. So if you want mm-hmm. to contribute to this project, you can send uh, an email to jeancor.blog at gmail.com. Jeancor is spelled J-I-A-N-C-H-O-R dot blog blog at gmail.com so if you want to contribute to this project maybe you want to add something to a giveaway maybe you have some blog entry maybe you want to create some video content if you want to be a part of this project you want to be a part of the Jean Core team be one of the first people to come out the box with this launch contact the team thank you Chad jeancore.blog at gmail.com Chad just put it in the chat the people want to grab that and um i'll go ahead and put that in the description box for the replay viewers as well yeah because because in all seriousness we're, we're, we're looking for people who are um you know entrepreneurs we're looking for people who have a a great perspective on the world and has some interest in that they want to share with the rest of the world you know we're trying to collaborate with anybody who has something tangible to give to the world so please you know submit and we'll curate the content or shout out to uh, Sketch Therapy, um, yeah, for real, for holding us down in the chat. Shout out to Brody holding us down in the chat. The mods, real quick, I just want to catch people up on why it's so great to be a part of this project. Uh, and it's the caveat that we added on in episode three, um, and basically, um, when you start off with a, a business or start off as a a personal brand, 
one thing that a lot of people seek is PR, public relations. You know, I need to get interviewed. I need to get some interviews um, on podcasts, written form. I need some notoriety. I need to build trust. I need to build integrity. I need to build authority on whatever it is that I that I'm uh, whatever field it is that I'm in. And we've actually cultivated a product for that, which is going to be a part of the Jean Corps product where you get like, you know, three or four interviews on video. You get a, a written interview that lives on a blog. Uh, you get to a blog on the website. We'll even um, put out a, a press release uh, to announce the partnership, things like that. So it goes out to the wire. If people are not familiar with the wires, is where journalists can pick up some of this stuff. So if you have an interesting story, it's potential to go viral. Um, obviously, this stuff is going to be syndicated all throughout the social media channels, retweeted by the one and only Hotep Jesus. Um, and then potentially coalesce that into a press kit. Uh, a lot of people don't have a press kit, an EPK, electronic press kit. But um, this is going to give you some authority so that when you go to sell your product and people go when they type in your name or the name of your product or brand or service in Google, it pops up. They can watch your interviews. They can get to know you. And then you're not just some Joe Schmo out of nowhere who they who they've never heard of. Um, so that's 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 one of the reasons why you want to get in, involved with this project. So, again, at Jean dot blog at gmail dot com. Sir, yep, and for for what a couple more days, we uh, you can you can get potentially win a fifty dollars gift card for uh, yeah. When is that? When is the contest end? Uh, the twenty third. Two days Edmund. left. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all better get it in now. It's about to end. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah, yep. So there's two days left, and then we'll have another giveaway uh, the next week. Who knows what we'll give away? We'll have to ideate that over this next week or so. Um, but that's good news. Should I do the screen share now and kind of take a look at the blog? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think so. I'm ready. I'm ready. Might as right. well, yeah. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and look at this <clears throat> from the mobile experience to see what this thing looks like. Because a lot of people are going to be coming in. So we have our wonderful Jean Core logo designed by the one and only Jonesy. Um, mm -hmm. So, Ant, you were talking about. I'm guessing you're saying on mobile there's some problem with the you said something about the text right yeah so basically like i feel like the text is just unaligned you know the bot the bottom of text and the copyright it's not that it, maybe unaligned isn't the right word i just feel like the line breaks in each um you know sentence they should all be even and then some sentences they're oh, even you got to change it to you, you got to change it to justify Okay, because I was, I was, is there an echo? I just hurt myself. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, okay, now it's all good. Um, it is so very basically, sweet. So I was just, you know, testing out a whole bunch of different things, but you know how you could kind of get lost in, in uh, Elementor. Right. So I was, you know, trying to audit a couple different things, trying to edit a few things. I just couldn't quite figure it out. I was able to figure out, you know, the boxes, um, yeah, the, the gradient, all that. But as far as the text, uh, I was getting a little bit confused. Yeah, if you wanted to have the text uh, be aligned all the way down, that would be justified. Is okay. the the setting you're looking for? Um, but I mean, I wouldn't even worry about that. I mean, right now it looks it looks pretty good. Chat, go ahead and uh, I know you're looking at the blog right now. Uh, go ahead and drop a, a rating from one to five on on uh, the design here and some comments on uh, how how you think we can make this thing improved. Uh, we're not First looking to blog history. We get our blog. We get our our landing page rated <laughs> live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five 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 saying you know exquisitely perfect. One being it's trash. Um, I, you know, I would rate it probably like a three and a half. Um, I think that uh, it's serviceable, though. It, it gets the job done, right? You, you're not a web developer, so there's not going to be some sort of amazing JavaScript uh, animations that are going to be happening on this page. Um, to, so, you know, design wise, I would probably give it a three and a half. Uh, for practicality, I'd give it definitely a four, five, potentially. Um, yeah, I mean, my, my, game, my main goal with it is, uh, you know, I just wanted to keep it simple. So anybody logging on would mm -hmm. pretty much be a straightforward 
um you know hey if you want this here it is and enter right. it i didn't want to put too much text where you know if you go on a page and there's too much text people are lazy and they're not going to read it yeah so just keep it simple just briefly you know run through the couple of sentences um you know join the journey with us and just yeah. keep it pretty pretty mm-hmm. simple keep it moving so keep it you, simple stupid when you when you come here you'll be able to navigate uh to the various um pages one of them privacy policy obviously that's pretty much mandatory across the internet now the official rules for the contest and then getting in tune with the jean Core twitter account right now they're sitting at about 37 followers i'm not following it i'm going to go ahead and follow it right now um looks like we got to get a twitter banner in here for jean Core. there's no banner mm, yeah um three tweets out there it's happening okay I actually um, tried to put some cool animations in, but I like copied like all this HTML stuff and I put it in there and it just wasn't working. I was like, yeah, <laughs> let, me, let me stay in my lane. Hey, yeah. so, so since, I, since I got called a boomer, since I got called a boomer earlier, I just have to say like, if you go to the rules page and you go to 13, where it says privacy policy, I actually created a link where when you click here, it's actually the link to our privacy policy. And I did that. Um, oh, that good job, here. Chad. Pop it so, up. And and Ant didn't even have to tell me how to do it. I just was like, I was just like, I got it, man. You go do your thing, and I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll muck, muck around with this thing and see what I can. So so for people um, in the chat, we're using this tool called Elementor, um, and that's uh, this is the tool that we're using, the world's leading WordPress website builder. This is like the best way to build your website. If you need a link to this, you know, holler at me. I'll send you my affiliate link. You can buy it through me, and I get paid. Um, but in the meantime, um, so and um, in Elementor at the bottom left, you can actually edit the page as mobile and you can edit the page as desktop or edit the page as tablet. In, um, in responsive mode, correct? Um, n- no. Yes, 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 yes. That's what it, that's what it says when you hover over the right, icon, correct? Right, okay. yes, my bad, yes. So... On the desktop version, it looks like we have to add some padding at the bottom and top. Okay. Maybe like 10 to 20 pixels at the top okay. and bottom for desktop version. Um, it looks like the padding is fine on the last element of the page. Um, so that's cool. Okay. Um, maybe build out a footer. Right. Because um, you're probably going to need that at some point anyway said we got a dev in the chat oh yeah nice dev holla at us man um then we have here um okay so let me look at the mobile version so the mobile version looks like it needs padding on the left and right in that first yeah in the first uh text box need some padding on the left and right probably like 10 pixels both sides um, would probably be fine. And then also at the top and bottom. Okay. And I, I think that would make it look, uh, look serviceable. Um, Don Quixote said, uh, 30 top 20 bottom title will look centered. Okay. Uh, do not perc- do percent, not hard pixels. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we're going to adjust that. that based upon percent. Um, check out Theme Forest as well if you don't want to do a lot of CSS. Yeah, Theme Forest actually has um, a great amount of resources and they have Elementor um, uh, um, uh, themes in there as well that you can pop in here. Who's the dev? Is that uh, this guy with the no name? That's the guy. Yeah, that's the guy who said uh, the thing about Theme Forest. Yeah. Okay. And I'm assuming that the uh, Don Quixote is at least in that lane, if not. Yeah. What type of uh, rating do we get? Um, chat, go ahead. And I see. Okay. It's free like right in the middle. Three, four. Yeah. Uh, Peace to everybody who gave us a three. Fudge said four. Okay. Y'all being nice. That's cool, man. Um, he said, can you live feed ticker from towers? What? What does that mean, Fudge? You're going over my head tonight. Help me out, man. You know, I'm a little slow. It's um, definitely not my language. <laughs> he said uh, percent will handle many different types of devices. Ah, yes, yes. I learned that in um in my coding class. You're right. The percent is, is definitely much better. It will definitely adjust based upon screen size. 
indeed. I have to. Brody, uh, Brody said, gave us a 2.9. <laughs> <laughs> That's foul. So tell Brody I give him a two and a half out of ten. <laughs> oh, Hardcore. Ramsey's lab says uh, Elementor Pro has the animations, call to actions, icon boxes. I'd use a free font, awesome icon, and make a look make it look a little bit better too. Free font, oh, yeah. awesome icon. What's that? Free font, awesome icon. What is that? I, w- I wanted to ask you about about that. So, like on the official rules, there's like a there's a section in that template that you had given me that where like on number sixteen is like by checking here, but I. I wanted to try to put a, a little box that you could check um, or like an agree button or something like that. Um, but I don't know how to do that. That, that was the part where oh, we, oh, oh, we oh. really, really wanted to do that. And it's like, probably a WordPress plugin for that or some other way to do it. Oh, oh, awesome icons. Yes, yes. Awesome icons. Yes, 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 yes. You can definitely, you can let, definitely do that too. Yes. It does. Elementor <laughs> Pro does come with awesome icons. Yes. I got to install Pro this week because I was using the basic one. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Icon box and icon list. Yes, yes, yes. I gotta yes. do that too. Um, they do have icon. So you're saying use add the icon box and the icon list. Um, where on the page would you use the icon list? Because I went to uh, I went to that website that you showed me on Saturday. Uh huh. And then I basically was copying, like, the, I tried copying the HTML and plugging in, didn't work. And then I tried copying, like, the CSS. I don't know. Maybe I was just plugging into the wrong areas, but I just wanted to make it look cool and it just didn't, it wasn't working. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I know the feeling. Shout out to Felicia Killens in the chat. What up, Felicia? We here. Thank you for the support, love. What's up, Felicia? Yeah, word. I got I got her. Uh, she's she's featured in a very special project. The second time I'm working with her, actually, she was on our live stream for election night. And there's something very special coming out next year that you guys will be uh, and will definitely enjoy from her. I'm not going to spoil that yet. Um, OK, now, good, good stuff from the chat. Thank you, chat for um, trash can conductors said three and a half to four. OK, nice. Yeah. My man. This is good. This is good. We have 25 entries now. So anybody wants to uh, go ahead and hop feel in this free thing? to feel free to uh, to share the site on Twitter. Everybody that way, this this, you know, snowballs a little bit. That's right. man. Unless you're trying to win and give yourself a better chance and don't share it. Yeah. You know? Nah, I mean, listen, man, you know, they, 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 it's, it's, it's not like it's a life changing amount of money here. They just want to help us out. You know what I mean? So that, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah, definitely so, yeah. share that. Share the link. Yeah. Uh, Todd Custer, he said, uh, UX idea for different topics, change the color of your logo. Not a bad idea. Yeah. If you're on a certain category of topics, yeah. You know, the, mm. maybe if you're talking about money, the logo's green. And if you're talking about this, the logo's red. That's, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We, really we, cool we, we already have a couple of templates that are a different color. Rita actually asked me the other day to do that for some of like, uh, some other things we were trying to do, like some merch. And we changed um, the John Core logo to, uh, I, I have like four different uh, colors. She mm-hmm. only asked me for one, but I have them all on demand already. I kind of was thinking to do that. So thank you. Okay. Uh, Todd says the J in your logo looks like a Y. Okay. Well, this is definitely a, a preliminary logo. I think we'll, um, we'll be upgrading that at some point and getting something professional done. Um, header and footer, Bob says header and footer. Yeah, I think so for the header, Somebody help me out with my uh, jargon here, but in the header, we can actually create a burger menu. And in the burger menu, when you click the different things, it'll jump to um, different parts of the website instead of going to different pages. Um, So I'll have to show you how to do that. And it's really easy, though. It's not hard. Um, You just have to tag each element. And then once you add a tag to each element, um, then you just put a hashtag in the menu. And then the hashtag is that menu is that um is okay. that tag, uh, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we'll probably do that on version two after this. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do that. Let's do, let's make that a lesson at the Mogul Summit on Saturday. All right, real quick lesson. Um, Ramsey's last says if y'all want some free development help for some plugs or future revenue sharing, at me at Twitter on Ramsey's Labs. How you got you right now, brother? We definitely need that. Appreciate that. Um. Alex Moray said, uh, what about scale and the data you'll be storing and ingesting from that? You can do a SW system design. 
Okay. Not a bad suggestion. SW, you're saying software system design. I was about to say, I don't know what the hell that is. Um, but it sounds good, though. Uh, I don't know how much data we'll be dealing with since it's just a blog, um, but I'm sure at some point we'll, we're going to have to uh, be mindful of, of the amount of data that we're in bandwidth that we'll be using up because it's going to be a super successful project. Uh, margin left and right, and the footer should always be a percentage of header. Footer should always be a percentage of header. Okay. Good UX lessons here. Uh, I think only the wide peripheral graphic with bad was bad with margins. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's also because I was showing it to you guys on a wide screen. I have one of those like 30 inch, 32 inch wide monitors. So it's going to look a lot different on yours. Is there a native app as well or, or just mobile web? Just mobile web. We're probably not going to develop a, uh, a native app at any point in the near future, but definitely. Um, man, he wants us to get into APIs and whatnot. Damn. Hey, man. <laughs> uh, but good stuff in the chat. Thank you. Where else we at on us, y'all? Right. So now what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to collect more content for when we roll out because we're looking to roll this out fully in like, what, another month, guys? 2021 mm -hmm. yeah first quarter yeah first quarter so we will we'll, we're looking for we're looking to import stories uh long form content and mm -hmm. have like backlinks to all the social media websites so we can bring them into our blog as well so you know that i mean that's pretty much what you know what we're, we're doing now we have to um make a, a a digital push to get more content in you know along with the content that we're writing and the people who are already um that that want to um Contribute. Contribute to so the um, situation. Does everybody, Sorry, I had a boomer moment. Does everybody fully understand that this is like a a blog hybrid with a space for entrepreneurs? Like, do all the listeners know this? Because we, we didn't make a pivot, but we made, you know, a, a supple, uh, I don't yeah, know what they, the correct word is, but. I, I would say that they do. I mean, they understand it. We're, we're like a social content sharing platform. platform. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of right. different things. We're, we're you know, we're going to share information. We're going to share opinions. We're going to share facts. We're going to share stories that will help people mentally, financially, you know, I mean, every, everything, you know, so not everything, but we're, we're sharing all that kind of content. So it's, it's not just. It's uh, culture, mental health, finance, and business dev. Yeah. And, and, and that, and, and that's, and that's a wide ranging, uh, that's a wide ranging net to, to, to pulling content. So mm -hmm. I think they understand that. But I, I just think it's, it's great to, on two things is entrepreneurs right now are budding entrepreneurs are going to be um, showing up because things have shifted significantly. Some people, whether they're furloughed, let go of their jobs, they're saying, screw it. I'm just going to start my own business. Yep. Right. And so we're going to be there to help launch them and give them a platform um, and or directory. And then we're going to, we're, that's going to be one facet of it is to say, well, we've got the finance, we've got our culture, we've got our mental health, and we've got our business. So all of us could interview one of us, depending on who, it, who it is, we can all offer that new entrepreneur or that even seasoned entrepreneur getting into social media, you know, or trying to sell online. There's a lot we can offer. Um, um, in that respect, so that's cut. we're going to be drawing in and pulling entrepreneurs. A lot of them are going to be online. A lot of them are going to find us online. And then at the same time, um, anyone who is connected with that entrepreneur or anyone who's connected to us or who finds something of interest, whether it's on all of these different plat platforms that we're going to be showcasing, is someone saying, I'm a college student and I have a lot of debt. And mm -hmm. Rita posted all this great content from Ant. And that led me to Jean Cor. Right? Yep. We get a subscriber. They may be mm -hmm. a budding entrepreneur or they may refer us or someone saying, I might do little vignettes on, you know, the four steps to successfully having a business in eight minutes or less. I'll put that on Pinterest and I'll put it on all, all across all of our, our things. So, and, and so, but, but that also can, it can help a worker, all these, there's all these different ways that we can, um, that's one avenue, but the entrepreneurs they're promoting. And then I think that's going to draw in a lot just people who just enjoy it, want to do it for, for whatever reason. Coach, we're adding should, value yeah. to them. Social proof, like 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 Brian was saying, man. Coach, Look, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have a koofy or anything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
I'm going to pull this hat down. <laughs> what I'm about to say. No, look. So there's a, uh, there's people, there's people in this world who do not have your best interests at heart, who are out for themselves and who are out to step over you and step on you for themselves. And right now we have people who have lost their jobs, who've lost significant income. There are some people who, who have, who have, ended their own lives in the midst of all this stuff that's going on. There are people who are digging themselves deeper into debt. There are people who are watching the way that, that, that their culture is being hijacked and destroyed. And you have at the same time, these same people turn around and say, Hey, sorry for the trouble. Here's 600 bucks. Hope that fixes it. And what we're here to do is to help as we as we work together, the, the four of us and the five of us with, with Brian's help um, and with your help too, and to help you along navigate this together and build something that becomes immune to that stuff. So build something that can counteract that stuff. And like Brian said last week, to be the good capitalists in the world that can be what those things are trying to be for themselves and be that for everyone who's willing to come in and contribute and be a part of it. That's mm. right, man. Well, There's said. no salvation in this new, in this old system. There's no salvation. Well you know, said. You, you got people that say that they support this country, they support the troops. But what people don't understand is all of this, this country, the troops, all of the nonsense and the wars that they're trying to start all over the world, they're just entities, man. They're just doing what they're told by all these corrupt bankers and politicians. And we are trying to build something, like Chad said, like Brian says, that supersedes all of that nonsense. You know, what we just got today was the biggest slap in the face I think I've ever seen in my lifetime. Mm. Tell me about it, especially when you see what all these other nations got. Listen, man, you, you got them giving $500 million to Israel. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Not, Not like I got a problem with Israel. We love Israel. Shout out to Israel. <laughs> Let they me get gave, back into my bag. Hold they on. They gave them the bag. Three point three. Chai, listen, three point three. Chai Chai please please get these bills out of my hand. I would have B. Three point three billion to be exact. Billion. Three point three billion. What was you about to say, Whoa. Rita? So, yeah. so just to buttress on on what everyone was just saying is that. All of us, and then to the people who are asking to contribute in just all different roles, uh, everything that we're ready is to help people. Mm -hmm. It's like to help your business, to help you as a worker, to help with mental health. We had a great person that says they specialize in meditation and mm -hmm. kind of spiritual awareness, and they want to write an article. Mm -hmm. That's all, everything is, you know, comes from that base. And so um, I think that that is going to be the, that's the kind of the community that we're building. Just you Absolutely. know, people who want to help each other, and I think just like we, I, I think we've always mentioned in our mogul summit every Saturday. That's Brian's um, class that he does. <laughs> Calm down, Jonesy. <laughs> it's okay. There's only three viewers right now. <laughs> oh no, I'm just but, laughing. <laughs> okay, good. just laughing. So, but the see now, I've just lost my thought. But the, oh, it'll come back. It'll come back. <laughs> Coach Felicia wanted to know what the mission was. Our mission is to create a community of people who want to help each other. And um, our platform is through helping them with their business, with their mental health, with uh, cultural uh, commentary, and with debt. Wow. How's our mission that? is also to make money, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I'm but, kidding. But, I'm right. Kidding. So the I'm thing kidding. is that no, but but part of this it is a business. We're entrepreneurs as well. But that's that's kind of how we build a community and we lift us all up. So that's what I'm really excited about. But being a platform for entrepreneurs, creating this directory, because all of us are entrepreneurs and we come at it with whether they're a small business. We just we you know it was really exciting last week. Lots of people who the I mean I think five people is amazing for an hour and a half you know, with 45 or 50 people offering. Mm -hmm. 
and then people following us. We have a lot, just a, a lot of people who are trying to start out, trying to be on social media, trying to you know start their own businesses. But if we can help showcase them and be a platform for them, and for them, you know, it's like we're all just connected. It's like instead of just being six degrees from Hotep Jesus, it's like we're all, we're, you know, it'll be now six degrees from Jean Cor, mm -hmm. and to so so whether you know so we'll help them. Um, with our knowledge, what we've learned, our experience, and then they can keep building their business, which helps support our business and on and on. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Some yeah, kind it's, of it's about out there in the neither world, right? Yeah, it's about synergy and symbiosis. Like, I think that's right. a that's that's some of the most untapped um, energy that we have in the world is that people, too many people are either trying to do it all on their own without without trying to either help other people or, or reach out for help when they need it and to actually collaborate with people who can actually provide something that they, that they're missing. And that's, that's where I, I think this, this really feels a need is creating a, a framework where people can connect to create that kind of synergy. And be insulated from some the of the- only way you can have a free right. and equitable society. Right. I'm sorry, and but no, I said, the only way you can have a free and equitable society right. is if we all work together. That's all I wanted to add. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. No, and, and my thing is that when we talk community, it's to insulate us from what is is coming at everybody 24-7 in the media and in social media. Is that that we talked about from the very beginning when the four of us were just kind of brainstorming where it could go. It's having these conversations that you have regular that we would talk about, you know, struggles in our daily life, what's going on with our business. I'm at a dead end job. I don't know how I can improve, you know? And so we're all experiencing this at the same time in the same world, but you know, someone's like, I can't figure out, I'll, I type stuff to Jonesy all the time. It's like, what's your take on Lizzo? What's your take on this? Cause I'm yeah. hearing from it. And Jonesy's like, listen to my podcast cause it's coming up. And I'm like, okay, I'm there. But it's like, I learned just by Ant's course, I learned a ton of stuff that would apply to debt for anybody. And that's gonna be a huge thing for us to showcase. Ant's program, the 50, 30, 20, right? I mean, he mm -hmm. writes so well. And, you know, somebody who's sat through a zillion different financial courses over my life, to have somebody explain it so well and for me to retain so much of it. And um, quickly, he, too. Like, it's just... And quickly, right. Yeah. He just... But it's very it's very simple. And yet, I, I learned more... Well, not more, but I learned a lot about money through Ant's course and trying to teach college students how to get out of debt. He can, I told the first thing I said is you could, you could change the name, anybody. And people are dealing with debt right now. People are worried about money. And so, so just right now, when we're talking about the offensive $600 for mm. nine months of people not working, mm. and you can even add your 1200 bucks people got eight months ago. I, it's just so unbelievable to me. There's not even one state that has a cost of living that that would be justified. So, uh, you know, you just think of Californians, right? Or the New Yorkers who it's such a drop in the bucket. And then, but the good thing, and this is what reminds me what we learned in class. Brian's like, bring on the competition. And I kind of think the outside world now is our competition. Mm. He said, I, and, and it's a good thing for us to see that because, because of social media, we got to see where all that money's going to. Used to be, they call it just pork. Mm. And I'd go, I didn't know what that was. And now are the 6,000 pages an hour before you vote and they're going to vote for it mm -hmm. because we're not in that group. We don't exist in that group. Mm -hmm. We don't. And so today was a great lesson in terms of, but I bet all those politicians. So we're have, building our own group though. We're right, building our right, own group. Right. But I'm just saying is that when you see that trillions of dollars, it doesn't seem to mean anything, but mm -hmm. we won't, the, the financial impact for the politicians voting on it, it's going to affect them and theirs. And then people get 600 bucks and then what we have no, right. So, so we either take it so or we All don't. we got is each other at that point. Right. I mean, Cause so they're, they're just right. trying to drum up another war. If you right. look at that, if you look at that whole, no, the, the whole spending, yeah. all, they're just funding a war off of all of this. All mm. of this is to fund this war and to, to, to start conflicts all over the world. You know what I mean? It's all right. this is about, man. So and if, if they, for them to get needles right. in our arms. So if the, Remember the what we've been told our whole lives, the government is a reflection of the people. And then we wake up and it's not. So there's a lot of policies that the people wouldn't go for. War being one of them mm -hmm. and killing people all over the place would not, you know, that's that's my 
personal take. Mm -hmm. um, and so then we go, okay, we get it. So then we can sit and Twitter about it, or we can make a difference. And, and in the, we have to play within the rules that we live in right now. And what we like, um, Hotep Jesus says, be a better capitalist. Be a good mm, capitalist. Be a good capitalist, yeah. Right. And then networking. So we're starting the platform of network. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of how I'm looking at it. Yeah. Say, so come on in, you know, bring us. And, you know, in the beginning, help us build it. If you've got talent, you know, your name will be on that article. And if you want to point to your Twitter account, it will, it'll get published with your article. Right. You know, just bring it, bring it to us. And then. Um, we're happy to help showcase you and be part of the, you know, the growing family. Yeah. Krista Manal, $5 Super Chat. Thank you, love. Always supportive. Uh, Felicia Killian said, who is your intended audience age and demographic? Uh, so let me handle this question. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Kayleen, $5 Super Chat. Thank you, Natasha. Always supportive as well. Love you, love you, love you. Um, age between the ages of 25 to 35 single white male owns an iphone lives in new york city or california potentially one of the big three markets new york uh texas california um has desires to be an entrepreneur um struggles with mental health health potentially maybe some depression maybe some um maybe a bit lost i'm getting more into the uh profile axiom of things but um Hopefully that answers your question. So you're explaining Ted Bundy then? There you go. <laughs> Ted Bundy with ambition. That's right. Yeah. So I mean, if you think about it though, like a lot, a lot of that stuff, like I wonder, like you know, if the right if the right people get get to some of those people at the right times, I wonder if those things even happen. You know? Don't be like Ted a Bundy. Of, a lot of that subscribe stuff, to John Core. Is, is, is <laughs> like we, we we live in a world where there's a lot of disconnection. And we're yes. trying to bring some that positive connection to, to people and bring people together to to figure out how we can like we've already had like people who've been helping us solve some of our little, you know, mechanical issues with the site and everything just through this broadcast. Think about that, like multiply that and, and start to like start to have that thing uh, expand itself um within within the framework of synergy and and symbiosis where we're all we're all kind of like uh building off of each other and each other's strengths yeah what kind of world i mean we're we're talking like some wakanda level shit here if we yeah. if we really right. really put put the energy into it that we can um just to clarify though you know when i say like single white male 25 to 35 it doesn't mean <clears throat> that somebody black couldn't uh, enjoy this content somebody yeah. gay couldn't enjoy this content a woman couldn't enjoy this content obviously we're going to cater to a lot of different demographics i'm mm -hmm. just telling you who's more likely to um to Purchase. be a part of this yeah to, to be a part of this and engage in this i think is that sort of demographic mm -hmm. I'm bringing the maws in. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's I'm bringing right. the maws in, but I'm also going to have the boys dress up a little bit. <laughs> listen, listen, we need to have Ant do a calendar for the maws. Uh, all all <laughs> five of you, I'm telling you, we got to, we'll get a poster going. <laughs> do we want the yaws or do we just no, want? Do we no, want who, we want the boys. So this has been an episode of uh, JeanCord.com. <laughs> Rice, thank you. It's, 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 yeah, it's you about to, about to get, the younger about ladies to, too. You're about to ruin Ant's relationship while I'm on air. No, and, no, no got, I'm sorry. I don't know. You guys, let us <laughs> and just get silent. <laughs> I'm just saying, as a ma, if you let us subjectify you on Pinterest, we will get lots and lots of subscribers. And Ant, not just you, Ant's the demographic of the 26 to 35 year old, mm -hmm. but we got Chad's demographic, we got Jonesy's demographic, and yeah. I think Jonesy should wear what he's wearing now. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Come on. Listen, this is festive beefcake right here. That's right, that is festive beefcake. <laughs> No, no, but to your point though, like my first, my first blog post that when, when, when the blog actually goes live, my right. first blog post is about, is a story that I'm telling of when I was in that, I was right in that 
male stripper demographic? No, I wasn't a male stripper. <laughs> oh, no, oh, but oh, I was oh. in that in that twenty five to thirty five <laughs> age range. Chad's um, Mike Pence. But you have to you right because content. Think of it this is from a marketing point of view. Content is visual. Yeah. So you yeah. think of like what made right. So I I won't tell what made me start watching Hotep's been told you, but it was random on the YouTube and I was like. Uncle Hotep, who is that? <laughs> and I went, not that I didn't didn't love Hotep Jesus, but Unc has got just I don't know, he's a good looking man. So watch he, out now. But, uh-oh. So, no, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, oh, got a fan club up in his feet. Seriously, man. but I will tell you though that but it was that that because it was random on my YouTube because of what all the different things I was watching. And it, the first was the hotel been told you because that's how people in my family talk, um, the Southern people. Okay. You know, your mom has been told you, going to whoop your behind. Yeah. You know, um, all day, mom has been told you. That's yeah. how my dad's side of the family talks. Uh, yeah. So I was like, that's funny. And then I saw Unc and I went, let me just check this out. But it was, <laughs> wow. Oh, come on, no, you guys. Man. Now, now Brian is dying for people to confuse him with Unc. I know, right? <laughs> no, no. He's up in like Jodeci back with Unc, man. Stop it, no. <laughs> yeah. no, listen, no, but no. But the visual part, the, the, the words and then Unc, but then it was Hotep Jesus who kept me listening. Not that Unc wasn't funny, but it was just Hotep. The first time is just shock, right? Mm, it is shock, Like, is that right? guy really calling away people crackers? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> It's like, no crack is going to have me do that. No crack. I'm like, oh my God, this guy, this is too funny. Isn't that how he, come on. Am I the only one that heard it? It's authentic. It's It's authentic. It's authentic. Right. And it's like, no, but the thing is that if you have a level of intelligence, you you listen and you get what he's saying. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, whoever and whoever like, knew, whoever knew that all I had to do to be successful <laughs> <laughs> is to get on the Josie seeing all kind of missed opportunities. I know, right? Whole life. Yeah, I did this shit for free my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> You should have been had a YouTube account, man. I know, man. God damn. Welcome to the Cracker Podcast. Yeah, all, right. <laughs> all I'm saying is, is that there is a visual component to the stuff. Let me put the, the link stuff. back in the chat real quick. <laughs> and I'm just saying if the guys uh, do a little picture for Pinterest, it might get some more interest. You know, and Ant, I'm not picking on you, but you are, you, all of you guys are beautiful. But if you had a picture of Ant talking about debt reduction, mm-hmm. you would get a lot of hits on that. Indeed. And we you got to dress up like your... Andy Garcia and the Godfather. He doesn't 3. have to. And, and, yo, and then sit on mm. top of like a, a car or something, a fly car and talk about debt. But mm. then it would like kind of go against everything because it'd be an expensive <laughs> car. And that's like totally a, against what you're talking about. I got to drive a hoopty. <laughs> yeah, drive a hoopty with drive a nice suit. Yeah, nice and all right, right like, with his new truck, sitting in his truck, going, "Hey, ladies, let me tell you about the Federal Reserve." <laughs> oh, oh my God! All right, mm-hmm. let's um, let's start to wrap this up. Thank you for the backstory. I just think it's amazing that people find like the type of people that find who has been told you and glue in, and I'm just like so amazed. Um, but I think it just comes back to like the time period I was born in. Like I was born in a time period of like, um, uh, Al Bundy. Right, like, mm-hmm. like that, like back then, every nothing the was great PC. Al Bundy. The yeah. great Al Bundy, the great Al out. Bundy. What was the name mm-hmm. that show again? Um, Married, Married with Children. children. Thank children. you, Married with Children. Hey, Bud Kelly, dude. That, that, that was, came to every story, time. Dude. Every time I went to my wife's house, her dad was sitting there watching Married with Children, and I was just like, "Man, all right, so you're sitting there, like, yeah. all right, all right." I mean, I mean, I love this show, but. I didn't think you'd watch it in front of me. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Did he wash his hands when he took his hand out of his sweatpants? <laughs> you didn't just like go right in for the hand. No, but he was anything, chilling right? out on the recliner while he was watching it though. So. South Park. <laughs> South Park, yeah. Um, yeah. Beavis and Butthead, you mm-hmm. know? So I, I bring that 90s feel to Hotel's Been yeah. Told You where it's just like you say what's on your mind and we don't play this PC, you know, snowflake mm-hmm. culture stuff mm-hmm. when you come to our show. And if right. you bring your feelings to our show, you're not going to enjoy the show. But if you leave your feelings at home and just watch, you'll see I call everybody names. We um, are from the era of 
fuck the police and bitches ain't shit. That's correct. Mm. That's correct. Even though the, I I don't agree with the whole bitches ain't shit thing. We love it. <laughs> Punchable <laughs> Tur said, just subbed and been occasionally watching your shows. I'm white and love your stuff. I looked up Hotep and definitely want to know why the N-word and can swing in any color, but Hotep is Afrocentrism and centric. Interesting question. We'll answer that at another show. Come back uh, to Hotep's been told you. Maybe we'll get that answer for you. Um, this has been another episode of the Jean Corp Project. If you guys want to contribute, um, Chad just posted the... Uh, Email in the, in the in the chat, jeancourt.blog at gmail dot com. Come come get a uh, scene. Come get discovered. Uh, the giveaway is live now at jeancourt.com. That link is in the description box below. I'm gonna refresh one more time. Twenty seven. Also entries. tweeted the link so for the for the uh, the giveaway in, the, in my right. I tweeted it earlier. Okay, so. let me go ahead and give that a a, a nice retweet. Um, also, what else did I want to mention? Um, wait, you didn't tweet that from the Jean Corps project, though. No, no, from, from, from your I page. Tweet, tweet it from there, yeah. I'm, I mean, before yeah, we I don't forget, though, can we, I don't we have wish everybody yet. happy yeah. holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, yeah. oh, word. Uh, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. It's Festivus happy. for the rest of us. Yeah. Whatever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What's Festivus? Festivus was Fest- made up by the great. Uh, <laughs> Larry George David Cassandra's David father. David. Yeah, George. Yeah, best of us for the rest of us, the people ben, who don't uh, celebrate. Jerry, Jerry Stiller. Yeah, Jerry, oh, Stiller. Jerry okay. Stiller, the great Jerry Stiller. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't. Interesting. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be back next Monday with more updates and and probably announce the winner on on the show. Um, mm-hmm. And don't forget when you sign up for the contest, you can get additional entries to win. Uh, by sharing it to social media. This has been another episode of the Jean Corps Project. Episode yeah. four is in the wraps, people. How do you feel about we that? Got, I feel excellent about that. I yeah, can't believe true. that this thing is growing as fast as it's growing. Mm. It's like cancer. Your analogies tonight. <laughs> You're both awesome at promoting this stuff and also terrible at the same time. Listen, like, man, that that is, that's the juxtaposition. It, it's sometimes so you get greatness and sometimes you get like painful mediocrity. But You're that like, is the, that is who stuff Jonesy is so is. great. It's as great as Hannibal. And I'm like. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Don Quixote said, by the way, Hotep, you and Unc, why you always stream during NFL games? Because <laughs> they don't the give NFL. a fuck about the NFL, man. They don't yeah. care about the NFL, man. Exactly. They, look, he called it shine ball. <laughs> I love the NFL. I'm not going to lie. About it. I stopped Go watching. Raiders. I stopped playing Raiders. fantasy Raiders. football Thank and stopped you. watching the NFL like uh, right before y'all started the show. Yeah. And it's been great. Like it, I've never, I've never been like, I, like sometimes people are like, did you see that play? I'm like, no, man, I'm watching this. I've just been told you there's a game on right now. Oh yeah. It's Thursday night on NFL. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I for, completely forgot that they y'all had gotta, NFL. Y'all got to stop night. tuning in to Caesars, uh, Caesar's Gladiator Games, man. That's right, right. The, the, Roman, circus, the Roman Circus, baby. Yeah, it's the yeah. Roman they gave circus. us the bread. The bread was the sixty six hundred dollars, and the circuses were the sports that you knew were never not going to be played. And they're rigged. We'll take that six hundred dollars and gamble it. They yeah, they, they got if, them. If I didn't have a, yeah. if I didn't have a gambling, <laughs> yeah, not to Benny Cunningham. The, if, I they didn't are have a, if I didn't have a gambling <laughs> addiction, I probably wouldn't watch. But you know. it, the games are rigged. <laughs> gotta get my, gotta get yeah, my fix. Are. This fucking <laughs> games is rigged. <laughs> Have you guys ever rigged. even talked to an NFL player? And Vegas never Next time loses. you run into an NFL player, ask him, do you think the, the games are rigged? If you get him alone and make sure your cell phone's tucked away and he feels safe, he's going to give you a look like, nigga, you know the answer to that. So I don't watch hey, that. Hey, 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 hey listen, we, 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 we level. play with and going to high school with a couple of NFL players. Yes. And I'm not going to say anything, but. Right. I've, I've no, asked, I graduated I've, I've, from LSU with one of them that uh, that uh, we're, we he came to my 40th birthday party and it's you know same kind of thing where like the the bluegrass miracle or whatever it was called what was that the Music City miracle that yeah. one that he's he's like so he came to your 40th birthday party 20 years ago <laughs> <laughs> six years ago bitch. Jonesy's on fire tonight oh, yeah, was on. yeah man I hate you Jonesy it's that uh, coffee terrible. he got tonight. I know. Right, I'm, like, right. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep. Flying now, so. high on <laughs> caffeine but, and adrenaline. But excellent show tonight. I'll see you mm-hmm. on next Monday. 
Hotep signing off. Y'all be safe. Sean Cole Project. Hold on. I want to wait till the stream ends. <laughs> Caffeine but, and adrenaline. But excellent show tonight. I'll see y'all mm-hmm. next Monday. Hotep signing off. Y'all be safe. Sean Cole Project. Hold on. I want to wait till the stream ends. <laughs> All right, we out. <laughs>